Grand Prix show jumping is not for the faint of heart, and in today's show, you'll meet. Great. This is Unbridled with Susan Kane at Hits on the Hudson in Saugerties, New York. Presented by Thoroughbred, family owned and operated since 1949. Thoroughbred produces specially designed horseshoes, racing plates, and therapeutic products to enhance equine performance. Learn more at thoroughbredinc.com. Amy Momro is emerging as one of this country's top Grand Prix riders. Recently, she has earned back-to-back -back victories at the nation's top show jumping events. Today, Amy competes for her share of $150,000 in prize money. Her success is no secret to those who know her. Join me in an exclusive interview with this extraordinary young rider. So we continue our scoring now for number 500. Amy Mumro rides in aboard Summer Storm, an eight-year-old gelding for Shane Brooks out of West Sand Lake, New York. So we'll watch the round now for Amy Monroe, Summer Storm, number 500. Amy rides in with a score of six faults from their two phases. very last, the heartbreak comes in fence number nine for four faults in this round. So that gives Amy Mumro and Summer Storm a total of ten faults, and she'll take the lead now in our championship match. So an outstanding performance for Amy Mumro, leading the way aboard Summer Storm, an eight-year-old, as we mentioned. Summer Storm has a long Grand Prix career ahead of her. I think I always aspired to do the Grand Prix and then when I joined partnership with Summerstorm is when it really, the goal that I've set and really came forth and I've had an animal that can help me out and get there and he and I have developed together and got myself to this point. You succeeded against popular opinion that Grand Prix show jumping and horse sports are only for the super rich. How have you done it? I've done it just through a lot of hard work, a lot of time, effort. Um, just the love of the animals and just day in and day out sticking to it and just persevering and going forth with my goals. How did you get yourself through the hard times? I think just the pure love of the animals, just staying with the sport and just enjoying being with the horses and the customers and the people in the business. Do you want the other one redone, Joel? What's that? So do you want the other one redone? Yeah. Or just, if you just get the top a little bit better. Okay. Oh. Oh. And what do you feel throughout your early years prepared you for the place you're at now and how you ride now? I think through my early years, um, I had a great support group, my trainer, Monty Kelly and Sandy Kelly, and the customers, the parents, my parents, family, just a lot of people have gone into getting me to where I am and supporting me through all of it. All set. And you've been with Monty and Sandy for a very long time. That's really rare mm -hmm. uh, in the equestrian world. Tell us a little bit about that relationship and what's made it work. I've been with the Kellys for 20 years now which is very rare, as you said. Um, 
I think what's made it work is it's a little bit more than just a business partnership where it's kind of like a family. Even Sandy's daughter, Shane Brooks, is the owner of the store.